I've been keeping my eye on this game ever since it was revealed a couple of weeks ago. There's a little something this project has that always makes me come back to it and with its new short gameplay video that just released, I think it was time that I talk about it. This is Road to Vostok. And like I said, Road to Vostok has that little something to it. It looks clean, it looks professional, and the single developer working on this project seems super passionate about its game. Each of the videos is made are really really detailed and goes in depth on what this game will feature. Although the way to its core. Again, it's super professional, which is why people are staying and keep coming back. Each Dev Diary video is made, explain in details what is implementing and planning to in the near future, all in such a way that we have to get excited in one way or another. Road to Vostok is all about being a realistic, true-to-life survival action project with intense gameplay dynamics and beautiful but apocalyptic environments, all in single player at the moment, but the developer is thinking on adding co-op and PvP. VP in the future. At its core, it is an hardcore survival sandbox experience with realistic weapon mechanics, advanced survival systems, and hostile NPCs, featuring over 20 medical conditions, tactical weapon handling, permadeath elements, and in-depth character simulation. The road to Vostok will be extremely hard and filled with dangerous, perilous, and beautiful events, either fighting bandits, getting airdrops, and overall survival in a hostile world. It's all about getting to Vostok, but Vostok is a dangerous dangerous and mysterious zone. The moment you cross the border by using a crossing point and enter Vostok, you are inside the permadeath zone. If you die in Vostok, you will lose everything, including your shelter items and your save files. In game, you're able to scavenge, storage, and craft hundreds of unique items based on real world parameters and progressive loot tiers. Find weapons, tools, consumables, medical items, military gear, electronics, apparel, and much more, says the game's description on its website. The playable game world is made from individual maps, which are unique areas and based on real-world locations. These maps are connected to each other, and each map has a difficulty rating in terms of NPC AI. The main idea is that when you travel east and towards Vorstock, the game will get harder, but the loot will get better. The game world itself is divided by border zone and a physical border. Border can be crossed by using crossing points, which lead you to Vostok in the end. Each of these crossing points has a unique game mechanic and a certain level of risk associated with them, says the game website again. There's also going to be some shelters in game. Shelters are safe zones and places to store loot. Shelters are different in terms of size and customization. They are always available to player and most of them are also easy to find. Shelters are the only way to save your game. You can also trade, buy or sell items to specialize in game traders with intuitive refuse or accept value system. Traders can also be used for services like medical care or weapon maintenance. The world itself will have different events happening throughout your long journey. Dynamic game world includes randomized game events like crash lights, airdrops, ambush, and special trading quest events. There are also environmental weather events like rain and thunderstorms. This game is 100% being solo developed by an ex-military lieutenant with nearly 10 years of game development experience. At first, he's going to build a best-in-class single-player hardcore survival experience with advanced NPC AI. When this goal is achieved, is open to consider developing co-op or additional PvP multiplayer options. One thing to mention is he's interested in developing other small-scale online features first, which emphasize the presence of other players without actually seeing them. These can be think of as environmental online features like visual clues and subtle hints of other players. For more videos on this game, make sure you guys support this video and subscribe.